anstrengend. Seid ihr noch gut drauf? Seid ihr wirklich noch gut drauf? Ich habe euch nicht verstanden. Seid ihr gut drauf, habe ich gefragt. Okay, dann kann ja eine Rede nicht mehr schaden. Und danach hören wir auch noch mal Press Riot. Aber jetzt erstmal eine geile Rede vom Professor für Klimawissenschaften und dem Leiter des Potsdamer Instituts für Klimafolgenforschung. Johann! Fantastic to be here in Berlin. For a long time, we scientists consider the People's Climate March in New York 2015 to be the reference point of the Klimaschutz. Today, I think we can say that Berlin 2019 is the new reference point. That this is potentially the social tipping point that we scientists have been hoping for for such a long time. I would argue Berlin, Germany is the ground zero. This is the epicenter of the change in the world. Now we know that so much is at stake. Germany is the world's fourth economy. Germany is a modern industrial nation. Germany also depends on coal and natural gas. I would argue that for us to succeed in delivering the Paris Agreement of staying well below 2 and reaching 1.5, Germany has to succeed. Or put it or put it another way, if Germany fails to really embark on a decarbonization journey, the world will fail. This is the situation we're in. Now the Klima Cabinet met today and the signals are not aligned with science. The science is clear though and there is an example in the world and I will take this opportunity to be a little bit egoistic. We should, in Germany, go the Swedish way. Not only being inspired in the youth movement of the fantastic Fridays for Future, but also in adopting a climate law. Also in deciding on a price on carbon. Sweden has had a price on carbon of 100, 100 euro per ton of carbon dioxide. Rumors have it that the Klima Cabinet today said 10. It seems like Chancellor Merkel might have forgotten a zero. Now, the science is clear. If we head towards 1.5 degrees Celsius warming, a warming well beyond any average temperature we've had since the last ice age, we unfortunately, scientific can say, that we probably have two planetary victims. The first one, no more tropical coral reefs on Earth. The basis for livelihoods for over 200 million people. And no more Arctic sea ice. Two systems that regulate the stability of our planet. If we move towards 2 degrees Celsius warming, science shows we might be passing a tipping point that could self-accelerate a cascade towards a high zeit Earth that would commit all future generations to a planet that is not supporting human life. This is the reality. Science is clear. Therefore, I have a greeting for you. I have a greeting from the international top leading scientists across the world, from the Nobel laureate Mario Molina, who was one of the first to identify the depletion of the stratospheric ozone layer, to Carlos Nobres in the Amazon, to Peng Gong at Tsinghua University. We are all behind you as scientists across the world. Now just to close, dear friends, you young people in the world, you have two cards in your back pocket that nobody can deal with in any negotiation, being an adversary or an enemy. You have the future, and nobody can talk about the future like young people. But secondly, you have a second card. You have the card of truth. 
You represent the truth. You have science behind you. And with these two cards, truth and the future, you are unstoppable. We are unstoppable. This is the social tipping point we need. Let's keep it up. Thank you so much.